Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our session, a conversation with Hey Auto and Privacy for Cars about your car and data privacy. My name is Amy Mitchell, and I am Hey Auto's product marketing manager, and I will be your host for today. We want to thank you all for joining us, first of all. Today, you'll learn more about the partnership between Hey Auto and Privacy for Cars and the impact that this collaboration is going to have on the Canadian automotive industry. Securing your vehicle collected data might just be as important as setting up secure passwords on all of your online accounts or even setting up a home security system. Um, securing your vehicle collected data is a huge conversation in um, every industry, including the automotive. So that's what we're going to be covering today. Uh, both organizations that you're going to hear from are committed to providing ongoing software solutions dedicated to personal data privacy for vehicle owners. So first, a few quick introductions to get today started. On behalf of Vivid Theory and Hayato, we're going to have Brett Jones speak. Um, he is the president and co-founder of the company. Brett is the driving force behind Hayato and brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to his role as president. With over 15 years in the automotive industry, he is a recognized expert and has made a significant impact in the field. Under Brett's leadership, Hayato has established itself as a leader in the automotive technology space and continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. From Privacy for Cars, we have Andrea Amico, who you can see on the side here. Uh, he is known as one of the nation's leading authorities on vehicle privacy and cybersecurity. Um, he first conceptualized the idea of Privacy for Cars in 2014 after authoring the first statistical study on how frequently and what kind of data is being left in rental and used vehicles for sale. Amico and his team at Privacy for Cars have offered a database consisting of detailed, graphical, easy to use instructions covering hundreds of millions of vehicles. We're excited to gather on this topic today as the world becomes increasingly digital in various ways that means something for all of us and how our data is stored and managed. Before we get moving, I'd like to touch briefly on what to expect today and some housekeeping items. We'll be advancing through a few updates and then we will jump into the Q&A portion to answer any questions that you might have. You can input your questions within the bottom Teams menu through the Q&A box. Throughout the session, you are more than welcome to pop your questions in, and we will return to them later in the session. Up next, it's time to unveil our latest consumer-facing commercial, and we're super excited to share that with you. So uh, enjoy. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey, you must be Sarah. Uh, I'm robbing you. Why? Well, when you sold your car, you didn't wipe your personal data, so I just plugged that into my nav and hit the garage door opener and voila, free clubs. What, are you kidding me? No. See ya. Well, wait, no! Hey, Jen just texted. Girls' night's canceled. Classic. See ya. Your vehicle knows a lot about you. When you sell it, trade it, buy it, clear it. Find your nearest auto cleared vendor on heyauto.com. Hey everyone. Brett Jones here. Thanks for that, Amy. Um, if you all watch that commercial, you're probably uh, having the same feeling. Oh no, did I clear my data before I sold my vehicle or return that rental and the chances are probably not uh, but don't worry we have that solution for you now um, my name is Brett Jones I'm the president of hey auto um, I'm excited to share some uh, news with you today um, about this incredible partnership with privacy for cars Andrea Amico and uh, what we're going to be providing for the Canadian uh, car owner and the dealer uh, network up here in uh, in our great nation um, so a little bit about Hey Auto. We have been uh, constructing an incredible technology product, a very large automotive technology ecosystem uh, here in Canada for the past three years. Uh, we have 2,400 dealers that uh, participate in our uh, marketplace across Canada, and we provide ongoing tools to the consumer to have um, a more holistic ownership journey. So on our platform, you can shop for vehicles from dealers. You can chat with them through the platform. You can load your own vehicle up into your glove box, store receipts, documents, anything you need. You can anonymously auction your vehicle. Uh, so we've always been focused on data privacy, not only for uh, our consumers uh, that are shopping on our platform, but for our dealers as well. Uh, we ingest and uh, disseminate an incredible amount of data 
And so for us, uh, this partnership uh, was a natural fit. Um, when I was introduced to Privacy for Cars uh, sometime last year, I had the same feeling that I'm sure you all had was, oh my gosh, this is a big problem. Um, thank God someone's uh, fixing it. So uh, in our research, there was only one company that was focused on this for the past eight years with a, a patented solution uh, to handle this. And that was uh, Privacy for Cars and Andrea Miko. So that's a little bit about OK Auto. Uh, we are tremendously uh, appreciative to have this exclusive contract for the entire Canadian market and uh, help uh, consumers stay protected from their uh, with their data privacy at the vehicle level and help protect our dealerships as well. Uh, so with that, I'll pass it over to Andrea and he'll tell you a little bit about Privacy for Cars. Uh, thank you, Brett. Uh, my name is Andrea Amico. I'm the founder of Privacy for Cars. We are, of course, elated to be partnered with Heado, a very innovative company out in Alberta. Uh, as you heard, the thousands of dealerships across Canada. And so our hope and expectation is that we will be able to bring solutions and protections to all uh, Canadian consumers across the nation. Um, and we cannot imagine about better partners. So thank you for the opportunity to be here. Awesome. So you're probably wondering how the technology works, how we integrate it. So that's what we've been spending the last, uh, you know, uh, four to six months on is really working with uh, Andrea's team and uh, our technology team here uh, in Canada to integrate the solution into the Hey Auto ecosystem. So it's very simple. Our vendors, our auto clear vendors, which are our dealers, uh, can uh, scan that use the Privacy for Cars application to scan the VIN, go through the patented process to clear the data from the vehicle. And that information is fed into the back end of our platform where our dealers can then populate a certificate timestamp that this work has been done. And our dealer vendors are uh, backed by a $3 million warranty uh, to protect this process and keep them protected. So uh, it's a wonderful solution. It's something that is top of mind. Data privacy is, is something we all care about at our personal device level, at our authentication of our applications we use uh, level, and at the government level. But this isn't just uh, for uh, people buying and selling vehicles. You're talking about, you know, large corporate fleet management and government vehicles. Uh, there's a lot of uh, data stored on these vehicles. It's a treasure trove. Four out of five vehicles on the road can contain some form of the previous owner's personal data. So uh, it's a problem that uh, is has a solution now, and we're very excited to bring that to the Canadian market. You're probably asking yourselves, what does my card know about me? How much can it actually know? And it might surprise you. So I'm going to hand it back to Andrea. He's going to give you some of the uh, uh, the technical side of, of what to expect. Thank you, Brad. I think if people don't realize how much that the, their car knows about them. In fact, after laptops and mobile phones, I would argue it's probably the biggest data collection device that you probably own. Um, and the cars collect terabytes over terabytes per year uh, over what you do. And this data really comes from two sources. Uh, one, intuitively, I think many consumers understand that cars increasingly have a lot of sensors, um, but the the implication of that may escape them. So for instance, maybe you do realize that if you have a navigation uh, in your car, your second by second GPS location is actually logged and stored in the car. Uh, but it's not only that, uh, the car is a scale, for instance, every time you sit, it takes your weight. Uh, cars nowadays collect biometrics, cars nowadays have payment system, cars nowadays uh, collect your habits, how fast you're going, how tight to that curve you're taking, are, are you a safe driver, what's your score, um, et cetera, et cetera. The other big source is this. We all carry one of these in our pocket, and when, uh, again, consumer I don't think we realize that when you connect your phone with a car, um, all the protections that are in your phone are essentially lost because cars are designed in such a way that start to download data from your car, from your phone into the car, and the data remains unencrypted, which means it's available to essentially anybody else who then has access to the vehicle. Um, as you've seen, uh, I think in the cheeky example of, uh, of the, of the ad that you've seen earlier today, but you know, anything from, of course, your, your contact, but your entire text message database is going to be in there. Uh, nowadays you can find your calendar entries, habits of your browsers, apps that are running on your phones, information about your social media, photos and files you've downloaded from the internet and so much more. So again, uh, I hope that, uh, Canadian consumers want to realize that cars are big, big devices that collect a lot of data and hopefully they will want to do something about it and we're there for them. Awesome. Thanks, Andrea. Um, yeah, I mean, for us, um, you know, 
data privacy. You'd never open up your cell phone and hand it to a total stranger and uh, leave the room. So why should vehicles be any different? And especially when it comes to minor data, children uh, plugging their vehicles into vehicle, uh, plugging their phones into vehicles and their apps into vehicles. Uh, this is something that's going to be an ongoing uh, issue. There is a solution and we are going to be focused moving forward. This is just the beginning of the data privacy journey at the vehicle level. We'll be focused on uh, new things to come. So uh, with that, I think it's a good place to probably take some questions and uh, and give some feedback on uh, on what's next. So we will begin the Q&A now. Uh, okay, great question. Um, do you want to read them or should yeah. I? Okay. So the first one is, do you offer the service for car rental places? Uh, yes, uh, that is a service that we uh, are providing. Uh, that's something that Andrea um, uh, can speak to with a little bit more uh, clarity. Uh, yeah, so the partnership with Health is really for the leadership market is really our car focus. Our hope is we can extend it to other channels such as rental. I, I agree with you that that's, uh, that's an issue. Yeah, of course. I mean, we, we get a lot of feedback from, from folks that we're talking to. I mean, large corporations with fleet units, you're talking about, you know, 1,200 uh, uh, police vehicles here in Calgary that get turned in every night with uh, data still attached to them. So we're going to be working with uh, government and uh, large corporate fleets uh, to be able to provide this service internally so that they can stay protected and their data can stay private as well. Um, we have another one here. Uh, is this product available only through dealers? Dealers are the vendors that can provide this service. So um, we are able to provide this to retail users. They can sign up through our platform at heyauto.com, uh, put in their information, and uh, one of our vendors close to them will get uh, get in touch and set up a time to uh, to clear that. If you're planning on selling your vehicle privately, it's just as important to get this done. So we're, we're able to provide that at, uh, at our uh, uh, specific uh, auto-cleared uh, locations. So we've got another question here. Uh, what differentiates your product from other similar products on the market? Uh, there are no similar products on the market. This is a patented process. Uh, the, the last eight years, uh, collecting all of the uh, vehicle information and database to be able to uh, go through this process that Andrea and his team has done, have made them the, uh, um, the first choice for this. Uh, so we're able to, uh, we're able to service that market, uh, with this solution, uh, and provide that, uh, that, uh, warranty back certificate. Um, we've got another one here. They're inquiring about insurance companies and perhaps using the service to lower premiums. Has that been topic of conversation? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, obviously, right. I mean, if you're selling a vehicle privately and it's, uh, there's, uh, uh consumer data from the previous owner attached, I mean. Um, I, we don't want this to be necessarily fear-based, but there is horror stories out there of, you know, people putting in people's addresses and going to their house and, and, uh, insurance companies should be concerned about this. If, if someone new is taking ownership of the vehicle, there should be a validated certificate to say this vehicle is wiped of all previous consumer data so that that insurance company is protected and that premium can stay at a reasonable rate. So we've got someone um, asking if there's a timeline for the rollout. Uh, we are rolling out currently. So that's another great question. So um, again, we launched in Alberta here at the beginning of the month. We've had a tremendous uptick from um, large groups that work here, uh, well-respected groups in the in the city and in uh, southern and northern Alberta. We're already expanding into the Ontario market and the BC market. So our goal and actually the Maritimes. Uh, Brent and I are flying out to the Maritimes uh, in two weeks to meet uh, one of the largest groups that handle uh, um, uh, those provinces. So our goal is to get this in as many hands as possible so we can service the uh, the Canadian market in short order. Another question here is asking about the cost for the consumer to clear their data. Yeah, cost for the consumer to clear their data. Again, this is something that will be on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, different vehicles uh, have different processes uh, to be able to clear that data, and there's different costs associated, uh, but it will be a, a nominal fee, likely, uh, at the uh, at the auto-cleared vendor's uh, discretion uh, based on the vehicle that you are, are wiping at the time. Has this product shown promise in the Canadian market? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you know, before we roll anything out, we do a, a, a large amount of, of uh, consumer feedback and survey. And the the uh, 
the response was staggering. Everyone had that same kind of feeling like I had no idea or, oh no, I completely forgot. So, um, you know, the, it was overwhelming the amount of feedback where people are saying, you know, I would, I would give anything to know that my personal data is no longer attached to the vehicle that I sold or traded in. Uh, so as far as a, a, ne a necessity and a need for a product like this, of course, uh, and once people start to go down that rabbit hole, they realize that very quickly. So uh, as far as showing promise, yes, uh, the feedback from the dealers so far is that, again, we're three weeks in, you guys. This is kind of the the coming out party a little bit here. But the, uh, uh, the feedback from the dealers are that uh, customers love this service and they feel protected at the dealer level as well and feel confident that when they bring their vehicle in for trade-in or they're purchasing a vehicle from the dealership, they like to, they really appreciate to have that that value added service to know that their data is protected and they're not carrying someone else's data with them ahead on the vehicle that they've purchased. Um, another one here about government mandates in regards to um, consumer safety and data. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a great question. Uh, you know, the U.S. market is is much different than the Canadian market. Um, I can let Andrea speak to uh, to this because he's uh, he's kind of handling that down there. Um, and then I'll jump in and talk about kind of what we're, our approach is up here for the Canadian market. Go ahead, Andre. Yeah. So what, what is interesting to me is that Canada had a very long law of affair with privacy because people that has been around, similar provincial laws have been around for a very, very long time. Uh, now we start to see new laws coming up like, uh, bill 64 in Quebec. And I'm sure you know that there's new bills that are being introduced at the, at the federal level. But what's interesting to me is that over 10 years ago, uh, there was a famous retailer of electronics staples that was investigated by the Privacy Commissioner uh, of Canada because they found out that about a third of the devices they were reselling uh, back then we were talking about used hard drives and used laptops contained the data of consumers it had not been cleared um, and back then the Privacy Commissioner had said that you know if uh, this company couldn't delete this data then they shouldn't be allowed to sell those devices well um, I think as Brett pointed out our estimate is that right now in the Canadian car markets, about four out of five cars are resold with the data of the previous people. So I, I don't know that there's a need for additional mandates or intervention, but clearly getting, you know, I, I think that this is what we're trying to do is very much in guide uh, in line with the guidance that was given for specific products in the market, just in a different realm. Uh, people have not realized that a car is like a giant hard drive, it just happens to have four tires. Uh. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Andrea. Um, this is going to be something uh, that, you know, we're currently working with uh, uh, our regulators um, provincially and federally uh, on this. Um, you know, more important right now, it's education. It's education for consumers. It's education for retailers. Uh, it's education for fleet managers to make sure that this process is being handled. Um, I mean, no one wants their data shared out uh, or available for anyone to uh, observe. So, I mean, um, yes, of course, these things tend to uh, climb those ladders and we're having those conversations. But for right now, we're in the education uh, stage of of both our vendors and uh, car buyers and car sellers. And I think those are all the questions. So I think that's it for today's webinar. Uh, we want to thank everybody for joining. If you guys need to reach out to Brett or Andrea for a further comment or interview, uh, please feel free to do so at pr at vividtheory.com. I'll send that out in a follow-up email as well. And thank you all for attending. Yeah, I just want to add, thank you guys. Uh, very much appreciate everyone attending today. Um, you know, this is a very important story to tell. Um, and and now that we have a solution that uh, that can be provided uh, for the Canadian market, it's important that we educate consumers on on why they need this product. So we appreciate everyone. If there is any uh, further information you need, again, please reach out. I'd be happy to talk to with anyone further as well as I'm sure Andrea would. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, everybody.